Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and Senior LM Consultant at Marvel LM. In this video, I will describe the Storyboard Ships authoring tool. First, we will describe what is the Storyboard authoring tool, and then we will answer the question why we using this tool. After that, we will describing how to use it, and then we will show a demo to produce uh, storyboard ships without and with the storyboard authoring tool. What is the storyboard ships authoring tool? The storyboard ships authoring tool it is a command line tool. It was first released in the RC version of the TFS as a separate EXE that exists in the Visual Studio Gallery. But in the RTM it is part of the TFS Power Tool now. This command line tool used to perform two main tasks. The first task is building the storyboard ships file that can be later on imported to the storyboard. The second main task is importing the storyboard ships into the storyboard add-in on the PowerPoint. Okay, why storyboard ships? Why are we using the storyboard ships? Why we don't use the GUI existing as a storyboard? add in on PowerPoint. Why we use a command line tool? When I first create my first storyboard chips and I publish it on the Visual Studio Gallery, this was during the TFS beta version and released uh, with the RC. I have faced a missed feature in the UI in the storyboard. This missed feature is you can't edit the storyboard ships while you are working on another one this was really and already I open uh, a bug on Microsoft to connect they answer that they produce the storyboard offering tool and they are planning to do it so they close the the bug as closed but as different so they plan to do it uh, Natalie the one of the TFS product team told me that they planning to enhance this in the storyboard GUI but right now we don't have functionality in the GUI to edit the storyboard so this is the main reason why we're using the storyboard how to use a storyboard chips authoring tool actually to use a storyboard authoring tool we need first to create a PowerPoint presentation this PowerPoint presentation created with uh, specific requirements you have to create a presentation in a specific manner and specific steps with specific metadata some of them are required some of them are optional with a specific keywords and so on and so forth after that we using the command line with the, with this presentation to produce the .spsx file which is the storyboard ships exported that can be later imported the second thing that we can do with a storyboard offering tool is to use the SPX, SPSX file to import it to the storyboard ships inside the PowerPoint. Okay, let's have a demo on To create a storyboard ships using the PowerPoint GUI, let's open the PowerPoint to see what is the problem that we face. Okay. Let me this. I'm just creating a ship here. After creating the ships, I can go to here Add to my ships Swipe Blue Text Then here Back Right so it is very easy that we can create the ships through the GUI. 
what is the problem here after I finish the gallery I will just export my ships client ships okay and then I want to work on another gallery so I have to delete this so to empty my ships and start creating another gallery so now how can I edit the old one there is no way to do it so this is the problem that we faced with the GUI okay let's see the other solution using the command line let's open the PowerPoint create PowerPoint presentation let's save as Okay, the first thing is we we have to leave the first slide empty. We put the note here. I created a metadata helper. This is the first slide. Here is the reference name. It must has no space here is the title we can include the space of course the type here must be category because this is the main slide okay expanded here to be expanded in the tool or not and then I will add a new slide let's be blank okay stop the slide take this this is the minimum required field name title and type type shape I have two types shape or shape thumbnail Okay, here I will start Suppose this my So I will create every shape on a separate slide. This is the tricky Okay, let's go this this is here So now I have this. After this I will just save my file. I will close the presentation now. Then I will open the command line and navigate to the story port. I put it on the my C drive. If we just enter the story port we can see that we only have two command with a storyboard or which are build and import as we can see so I can here say build and presentation one it succeed and it produce this file mrad1.spsx Let's open the block point. If we open the story port here and story port ships, we can see here that my ships, okay, close so we can import. And 
import m dot they imported successfully let's open powerpoint again if i go to the story port go to the ships i will now find emerald one tools here we can see here this is the black text the blue text the red text and i will start using these ships i can also remove this and i can using the import it's very easy here to do the same with the UI for more information about the metadata we can see here that the storyboard came with a metadata reference that can told us we can see here that the reference name for example is required the title is required and there is optional metadata and so on so we can examine all the metadata and if we want to uh, add additional metadata to our storyboard chips. At the end, I'd like to thank you for watching this video.